Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to take a fresh flower mix bouquet and create a presentation style bridal bouquet for a bridesmaid. When I purchased the mix bouquet, I didn't realize there wasn't any greenery in it. Uh, so I took um, some of the silk uh, artificial fern there and I'm gonna use just a little bit of it to kind of fill in and be a backer for the bouquet itself. You don't necessarily have to have greenery. I just kind of like the way it looks, a little bit more finished. Uh, and so I take off smaller pieces of that, and I'll wrap a wire around them, and then cover my mechanics with the wax floral tape. I also saw this long grass in kind of a burgundy uh, color with a little bit of gold at the end that I thought might be kind of nice to work into the bouquet. So I'm gonna do the same thing, grab a few stems of that, wrap them together with a wire, and then of course cover my mechanics with the floral tape. And then moving on to the mixed bouquet itself, I wanna remove all the leaves from the stems. I can leave a few little leaves on, but especially the bigger ones along the stems at the bottom where the bridesmaid will be handling the bouquet itself. Uh, first of all, with the leaves on, it's kind of hard to create the bouquet. Uh, it gets kind of messy, kind of pulls away from the flowers themselves. And second of all, it, you want the whoever's handling to be comfortable with where they're grabbing. You don't want it to turn slippery and you definitely don't want it to create any grass stains. Uh, so I'm gonna pull all the leaves off from there. And then looking at the stems themselves, especially the yellow button mums and the, the daisy mums, there's a lot of blooms on that stem, which is awesome. But I just wanna thin it out a little bit so I have, I'm able to disperse those colors a little bit even more evenly through the bouquet. And so the blossoms that I pull off, I'm just gonna wrap a wire around and then cover it with uh, the wax floral tape. So don't wanna throw those away. Um, and then moving on to creating the bouquet itself, I'm gonna start with uh, kind of a larger piece of that artificial fern there. I like to either look in the mirror or in this case, I can watch myself on the camera uh, as I'm creating presentation bouquets. I want to be able to see what the audience is going to see. Uh, if I was to just create it as I look down, I would face all those flowers right up to me. And you really want them to face out towards whoever's going to be uh, looking at the bouquet. So if you're a bridesmaid, you're walking down the aisle, you want the audience to see uh, the pretty flowers. So in this particular bouquet, it came with... Um, one mauve colored large chrysanthemum and then two white large chrysanthemums and then of course stems of the yellow buttons and stems of the uh, kind of burgundy variegated daisy mums there. Um, I'm gonna put that mauve colored chrysanthemum, the largest one, more towards the top and then I'm going to bring in those white colored mums towards the hand where the focal point would be. It's very bright up against these the uh, burgundy and the, the kind of gold yellow buttons and uh, your eye is drawn right to them. So as I'm putting them together, I'm trying to kind of face the hose white moms more out towards the audience so that they can see the full face of the flower. Um, it's a little difficult when doing the <laughs> presentation style, but, but it starts to come together. And I, I was hesitant on, on picking this color choice. I mean, of course, I didn't have a choice of the colors that came in the packet, but I did have a choice of um, different colors, different color combinations. But this color combination kind of seemed more like that boho chic that I, I keep seeing around. Um, it's almost like a, it almost clashes, but yet in a really good way. So I, I don't know how to explain it, but they, it really drew me in. Um, I could see this color combination for a bridal party that's wearing mauve, um, kind of like my shirt there, uh, maybe going into pinks, burgundies. If those button moms were a little bit lighter, might even be able to go into kind of like a, a teal or, or some kind of dark hunter green or like a blue green. Um, it might even play nicely in there. But I, I really like how the um how with the the fern there and the long grass it really gives it that kind of wild feel um 
like uh, fresh picked flowers uh, that you just, you know, so excited it's spring, you ran outside and you picked flowers. And now you've got this beautiful bouquet that you can uh, walk down the aisle with. Um, so once I have all the flowers in my hands, it's always like a lot of fluffing to try to get them to face out, face the right way. Uh, a lot of working into there. But uh, when I finally uh, figured it's just about right, I'm going to tie it off with a chenille stem. And also, I, I didn't show how I made it, but I did pre-make a bow that's going to be at the base there to kind of hide the bridesmaid's hand and kind of finish off the end of the bouquet. Um, so once I have that all secured and, of course, rearranged again, um, I'll put that bow on. And then just trim up the stems to the length that you want. And... It is all set. So there is a mixed bouquet of fresh flowers turned into a presentation style bouquet for a bridesmaid. Thank you so much for tuning in.